We're going to look at an example of how to use a Hunter Nash method for a multi-stage extraction using our online web app. What we're told is we've got 20% propionic acid in 80% water, which is our feed. So we can draw that on our diagram. So we've got 20% propionic acid and 80% water, so we can put our feed. We're also told we're contacting with pure cyclohexyl acetate, so that's our solvent. So we can also pop our solvent on our diagram. Now we know that our mix point must be on a straight line between these two points. We can do a mass balance on our solute. So we've got 20% and we times that by the feed flow rate and we're told that a quarter of the feed flow rate is the solvent so we can say that our feed flow rate is 4 plus nothing in our solvent equals the composition at the mix point times by the total flow rate which is 5 therefore we can see that the composition at our mixed point is 0.16 or 16%. What we can do is see where our 16% crosses our feed line and that is where we have our mixed point. Then, so we know that we've got 16% of our solute 64% of our carrier and 20% of our solvent. We're told that our final raffinate is to have only 10% of propionic acid in. So we can plot our final raffinate where we've got only 10% of our propionic acid and we know that we can find our extract by drawing a straight line from the raffinate through our mixing point to the equilibrium line and then this gives us our extract point so what we can see is that our extract is at 30% propionic acid, about 6% water, and 64% of our cyclohexyl acetate. The next step is to find the position of the operating line. So we know that one of our operating lines goes from our solvent point through our raffinate point. And we know our second operating line goes from our extract point through our feed point. And then where these lines cross is our operating point. To find the number of equilibrium stages, what we need to do is to start from our extract position and then to use our tie lines First of all, to find our second raffinate product, so we're using the equilibrium tie lines. Then we go from our operating point through our raffinate product to our next extract composition. Then we go from our next extract position using our tie line. Then we go from our operating point through this raffinate point until we get to our extract position. And then we again use our equilibrium tie lines from this extract position to take this over to our raffinate side. And now you can see we've, we've gone below the raffinate composition we wanted. So now what we do is we count our equilibrium tie line steps. So we have one, two, and three. 
So we have three stages needed for this separation.